What's up, everybody? Super early in the morning, down here in the middle of the swamp. Um, uh, yeah, we're at it again. See if I can shoot a big deer, big buck. They're, uh, I heard they're chasing right now. So I'll come back up here tomorrow with Danny again, where I shot that five point. And uh, let's see if I can get another one. Let's get at it. It's dark. I'm trying to get this over with. And it's quiet. But let's get it going. A lot of sign in here. Good morning, everybody. Today is the 19th. And they are chasing some does. So today I'll be doing some calling and rattling. And uh, see what we can stir up down here in the jungle. I'm literally down in this bottom. This creek bottom. Pretty good trails through here. Not a ton of sign. Just on the other ridge, there's a ton of sign. And that's where Danny is posted up. So we're going to see if we can shoot one today. Hope so. Hope I can call one in. Let's get a, let's get a giant. But it's a. Uh, Pretty noisy down here with the birds and stuff, so I think we're gonna be good. Let's get one. What's up everybody? It is January 20th and I am down in the swamp. I am in, in the swamp. <laughs> and uh, it's not a lot of good sign down in here. So hopefully we'll see one today and get one shot. Um, we'll be around and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I come up out of uh, the swamp where I was at this morning and seen a lot of activity. Got seen one rub, had a little, little bitty spike come in 20 yards. Um, seen a lot of deer this morning right at that spot, but I moved on out of that spot for the late evening. And I'm gonna try a different spot to see if we can at least try to find these big bucks. We know they're in here. We just keep running into the small little bucks. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm in the right spot. It's a, it's a clearing, so hopefully I can see them for days. I'll show you. It's, it's uh, the rut's just like starting to pick up a little bit. And we got a northwest wind today. Tomorrow, switching from the south, so we'll be in a different spot tomorrow. Um, we're ho I'm hoping by the end of the week, because all we have till Friday to uh, two more days to be hunting out here, and then it'll be down. I'll be hunting down by my house um, for the probably the rest of the season. But right now we're we're up here in Blackwater. It's about. A couple miles from the Alabama line, something like that. Danny chiming in on the radio. We have no cell signal out here, so we got a couple radios. But he was just saying it's the, this is the day that he killed the big eight last year. So hopefully we get a big one cruising through. Stay tuned. Of course, it's an ongoing theme. But it's getting a little too dark for my other camera. I can't really film with my iPhone that well. So uh, shot another one. It's not a giant. It's a it's a like a four point forked horn and no brown tie, but it's got big horns and a uh, big body. So 
It's the biggest body deer I've shot so far this year. <laughs> but it's like I'm going down hills from a six point to a five point, now to a four point. I feel bad because I shot him at 80 yards and his he looked huge, like bigger. So I took the shot as soon as I had it. And then when I got up close, which I'll show you guys, he dropped straight down on the shot. He was like dead instantly. So not a bad shot. Hit uh, hit about 80 yards. But uh He's got big horns for a four point. And they said they're chasing, but his tarsal glands aren't super dark yet. I think he was making that scrape when I shot him where he was, that's where he's kicking. Man. You know what? No, it doesn't matter about the size. It matters about getting pumped up. And uh, we had, a, and I got pumped up, let me tell you, when I seen come in it was crazy because i i called him in and rattled and he came up and then I, I was looking around and when i turned my head and made eye contact with him he took off so i called and rattled about three more times and then he came in again from a different point but he came in again to get a better look i guess he never got a look at what i was um so i mean that goes to show you if you rattle rattling and you spook one as long, i mean he didn't blow or anything he just took off just don't give up, um, be persistent, and never know they might come back. Oh yeah.